Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk She-Hulk episode five, I think it was. Today's episode? Whatever. It wasn't very good. They boil down Titania and She-Hulk sort of feud. It was always a bit wishy-washy in the, in the comics anyway. But they boil it down to she's stealing the trademark and selling makeup. We're at like peak nonsense level for Marvel Universe now. Peak nonsense. I do think there was an interesting element in this uh, episode though. Episode or two ago, we had of course She-Hulk on Tinder basically, Matcher or whatever it was. It was a Tinder equivalent and she essentially catfished someone. She catfished someone. And it was painted as that was really, really bad. And I didn't really go on too much in my review about it. But they brought it back, so I'm going to in this one. Because She-Hulk takes Titania to court to get her to throw out the lawsuit that Titania brought against She-Hulk for using the term She-Hulk. That's literally what this episode is about. Jennifer Walters and her lawyer... Go and get the guys that She-Hulk had been on dates with as She-Hulk, right? And we we know Jennifer Walters literally catfished a guy, picked him up, took him to bed, boned him, catfished him, and then in the morning he wakes up and there's an entirely different person waiting for him, which he doesn't know about. He doesn't know. She-Hulk only rose to fame because of She-Hulk. He's not going to know who Jennifer Walters is and he went on a date with She-Hulk. And so he left, obviously. Now, they have this guy pop back up and I thought, oh, they're going to do like quite a good redemption thing for She-Hulk. She's going to learn a lesson as a character. She's going to learn that she can't catfish people, right? Wrong. Wrong. So they get all these guys to come out and basically say, yes, she went on a date with She-Hulk. She called herself She-Hulk. To give evidence to the judge that She-Hulk has embraced the term She-Hulk and uses it. Therefore, it's hers, can't be trademarked, and it's her name, basically, right? So they they do all of that. And then this last guy gets up there on, on the the witness box and explains what's happened and says, yeah, you know, I had a, had a, me and She-Hulk, we really connected. And what he was saying was actually quite nice. So, yeah, we really connected. We we really hit it off. She's amazing. She's just my type. Um, and then they and then they say the whole fact that, yeah, he woke up and then Jennifer Walters was there and he was like, nah, not, not for me. But She-Hulk, damn. And you're like, so that they are revealing that he felt catfished, right? They're revealing it. They're fully revealing that this dude was catfished. <sighs> She-Hulk wins the lawsuit, goes to the pub, and the other lawyer that was representing her literally goes, you can do better, you deserve better than that guy. No, you don't. If you're catfishing people... You deserve to be called out because you're an arsehole. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with what this guy said or did. He, not, not, not bad, remotely. Not a bad dude. Completely nice guy. He got catfished. She got called out for it. Women most affected, I guess, and man bad. So strange. Very, very bizarre. Anyway, in amongst all of this stuff that happens she hulk gets some suits made by a special superhero suit maker and in there there's a tease for daredevil that's literally it right at the end there's a tease for daredevil in a, in a hat box it's got his yellow mask helmet mask face thing i don't know what you'd call that it's kind of a, a helmet mask mask normally just is just on the face isn't it so it's the whole thing uh, and, and that's just the closing tease. There's no post-credits. There's nothing like that. There are some teasers in the credits for other people and things like that. But that was really it. It was really short. Very short episode. 
Very, very, very short. And still revealing why it's total, complete poo. Real bad graphics still. I'm going to bang on about those graphics consistently, constantly, until the cows come home. Uh, they also kept call. Uh, so there was like one or two Shrek comments uh, about uh, Hulk. Titania calls her Shrek, or something like this. And you're like, oh, so are they? Are they trying to hang a lantern on that as well? It's like, not every time people criticise things, they're wrong or they're doing it hatefully. She does remind people of Princess Fiona because the graphics were really, really bad. Like you have to make her significantly better. Make her on par with Bruce Banner's Hulk. And so they did that. That was dumb. Because all it does is make people look and go... What? If you didn't know she looked like Princess Fiona or Shrek, you would then now look at her and go, Oh yeah, she looks a bit like Princess Fiona or Shrek. What a big old pile of crap that was. Strange. I think... Uh, I don't know how many more episodes we've got left. I don't know if it's like eight. Uh, eight or ten. But we're five episodes in, we've got three left. I can't see this coming to a satisfying conclusion. Like, I'm trying to think where it's going to go. She-Hulk was pretty much instantly the best straight away. She hasn't gone through any character arc. All that she's doing is coming to terms with using the name She-Hulk. That's it? Where's this character going? Obviously, she's going to hit it off with Daredevil. Like, we know that much. But these episodes are so short, I don't quite know where they're going to go with it. I don't see where they're going to go. So that's, you know, that's concerning to me as someone obviously wasting my time on this shit show. It's not wasting my time. I enjoyed making these funny reviews for you. But overall, this was a really boring episode. And still dumb writing. Because you shouldn't call back something which was definitely questionable in the previous episode. You painted the guy out to be bad when he wasn't and then you double down on that in this episode like take some ownership for your own actions ladies like if you catfish someone be prepared to get called out we will we've all seen you on dating apps all right love you want to take a photo from up here make yourself look super skinny you want to lean forward you want to go hyper lordosis with your back so you've got a big ass or slim waist all this kind of stuff and then you turn up and you look like a barrel yeah we've all seen it it's not good. Don't do it. Like it's wrong. You wouldn't do it for like, like you wouldn't want a bloke to to take some photos on stilts and be like, yeah, I'm like seven foot, and turn up. Not that half of these people even know the height of people because they just simply don't. But my point is, don't do it. Take some responsibility for your actions. Shit episode. Don't listen to She Hulk.